everybody, this is the Vikström. So, one thing I'm getting a little sick and tired of when it comes to Hollywood, it is the vigilante thing. When, you know, somebody conducts his own investigation and, you know, breaks every rule in the book to be able to, you know, find their loved ones and doesn't trust the authorities to, you know, carry out the investigations and doesn't trust the police and stuff like that. There are never any ramifications that happens afterwards when the dust is settled and, you know, they always figure out a way of, you know, doing stuff that the cops were unable to do. I would have liked for once, just for once, that, you know, the private investigation and him, you know, breaking every rules and stuff like that would actually be uh, fatal to the person you were trying to save. Well, you could have saved her, but unfortunately, you know, when you went all rogue and vigilante and stuff like that, unfortunately now she's dead and it is your fault. Is this the movie where they're going to do this? No. This is a Biden numbers vigilante thing that you could ever hope for. It's not very good though. Let's find out what this is movie is about. Show with this is last scene alive. So Jared Butler and his wife Lisa is going to separate. Their marriage is basically over and he's driving her home to her folks uh, so that she, you know, will be able to figure things out uh, moving forward. And they stop at this gas station and when he comes back, she's gone. She's, you know, vanished out of the blue and nobody has seen her. Nobody seems to, you know, having even seen her, you know, in the car when they, you know, came in. and. Uh, he files, you know, a missing person thing and, you know, the cops aren't able to find anything about this and they actually seem a little suspicious that, you know, your marriage was, you know, on rocky grounds, you were about to separate and they start to suspect that maybe, actually, Jared Butler himself may have something to do with this. So he starts, you know, his own investigation and tries to find out what has happened to her. You know, is it some, you know, dark secrets from her past, something she has never told him about that is the reason why she has vanished? Is there some drifter who has kidnapped her? Is it a kidnapping ring? Are there, you know, dark secrets in the town that she has discovered? Or do we have an unreliable narrator? That's what this movie essentially is about. So this is about as basic as you can get when it comes to these, uh, you know, vigilante movies where, you know, he's trying to figure out what is going on here and conducting his own investigation. The thing is that this movie shares a lot of similarities with a very, very good movie that came in the late 90s called Breakdown with Kurt Russell. Essentially is it that, you know, Joe Schmo, um, is trying to figure out what is going on here and uh, he's a normal man who is you know facing an unnormal situation but the thing is that Jared Butler is slightly bit miscasted in this movie because he has this, you know, tough guy act going on in, you know, for most of his movies. And he essentially plays Mike Bennett also in this movie, the, you know, indestructible alpha male guy. But he's a real estate agent. He's not an ex-military or an ex-cop or, uh, you know, something like that. Or at least they didn't present him as such. They presented him as Joe Schmo. And if they would have had, you know, a Christian Bale or a Matt Damon or a Kit Harrington or, you know, even a Keanu Reeves if he toned down the John Wick aspect of himself they could have done something really good with this thing but Gerald Butler in this movie feels too much like your regular Gerald Butler uh, performance so that is a bit of a minus another big minus of this movie is that it looks incredibly cheap and there are no good actors in this one including Butler who seems to just phoning this one in and by the way I don't know what part of the United States this is supposed to be but whatever part of the United States is in don't go missing here because the cops in this county is about as useful as a ventilated condom or a screen door on a submarine and seems to be exclusively employing uh, Officer Bar Brady and Chief Wiggum. Anyway, the movie moves around fairly nicely and it is kind of boring and very uninteresting and then the movie ends in very, very unspectacular and kind of abrupt fashion, which was a bit of, huh? What was that? So this is a big old pile of blur essentially. So if you have any chance of not seeing this movie, uh, do keep it that way. If you want to see other good uh, Butler movies that have come you know, out in recent years, Greenland is great, 
plane is great and of course uh, if you want to move a little bit further back uh, Olympus and London has fallen are also very very good. This one is and this feels like a cheap uninspiring movie where nothing really happens and in the end I was just a bit confused with the whole thing. You know they're them moving forward and backwards you know talking about the relationship and where things went wrong and stuff like that. And you're thinking this is going to have a big impact on the rest of the movie but it kind of doesn't. I think it is a big old case of trying to you know pad out the runtime a little bit because they don't have a lot of story in this movie. There are, you know, aspects of this movie that was good and with, you know, a better uh, cast and a better director and a better writer and a better, well, basically everything, they could have done a better movie. But then you would have only get Breakdown, which is a great movie that I really recommend. This movie, I do not. This is a very bog standard thriller that has nothing really going on for itself except having Jared Butler in it, because otherwise, without Butler, less than 500 people would have seen this movie, and that is taking things generously in this case. Last Seen Alive is a bad movie. It's not a horrible movie, but I still cannot give this movie any more than 24 points. It is unimpressive, uninspired, and the suspense, well, it just isn't there. It's just a bunch of things we have seen before in other movies, and it was better when we saw it then. So I'll see you next time for Well So and So Reviewing. Well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.